Welcome to our mini lesson on simplifying expressions. In other words, we're going to be canceling out. That's another way to look at it. Let's do a little bit of background and talk about what exactly canceling out is. When you have a fraction like this, you have 2 over 2. What we're going to do with canceling out is that you can basically cross out both of those 2's, but they don't eliminate. What you're doing is you're dividing. So you say 2, you pick a common factor between the 2, which in this case is going to be 2. And you say 2 divided by 2 is, and we'll put the 1 up there, and then 2 divided by 2 is also equal to 1. So this fraction, what you'd have left over is 1 over 1, and the fraction of 1 over 1 is equal to 1. Right? So that is equal to 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. And you can also say 2 divided by 2 is 1 and kind of save yourself the steps. But when we're canceling out, this is essentially what we're doing. We're taking a common factor between the two and dividing each of them by that number. And so sometimes when we cancel out, we don't write the ones. I just wanted to go over that. You're not getting rid of them. You are actually doing something with them. You're, you're dividing them. Let's look. We can do this with variables. You have x divided by 2 over, or, um, divided by 2x. We're going to cancel out by crossing out the x in both terms. Now remember, we're dividing by x. x divided by x is 1. x divided by x is 1. And this becomes important when you have something like this, because then what we have is a 1 on the top of this fraction, and 2 times 1, right? 2 times 1 is 2. So we'll end up with a fraction of 1 over 2. So that's why it becomes important to make sure to leave those 1's in there until the end because sometimes you will get a fraction and you need to have a placeholder up top. All right. This also works with binomials. It's a little bit more complicated with binomials, but let's take a look at it. When you've got a binomial of x plus 2 times x plus 1 over x plus 2, you wouldn't cancel out x from all three, but instead you would cancel out entire binomials at a time. So this x plus 2, that's a whole binomial that would cancel out the one that's exactly the same on the denominator. All right, we still have our 1's here, so it's 1 times x plus 1, and all divided by 1, because multiplying times 1 and dividing by 1, in this case, doesn't change the value, you'll end up with the solution of just x plus 1. There is one more part to this, though. We, there is an is one number that cannot be a solution to this equation, or to this question. And that is, you can't have a 0 on the bottom of the fraction. You can't have a 0 in the denominator. So x plus 2 cannot be equal to 0. In other words, x cannot be equal to negative, negative 2. All right? That's the one exception. And, and you'll see that we, we look at that Okay, and that's called a restriction. So there's a restriction in this case on the, on the value of x that x cannot equal negative 2. Okay, so that's our solution, x plus 1, where x cannot equal negative 2. Let's go on to our next question. We're going to actually practice some simplifying. When you see this fraction here, you look at it, and it doesn't look like there's anything completely common between the numerator and denominator. But we're going to go ahead and factor the numerator and see if that changes things. So we look for a common factor between these two terms, 5x and 15. And both are dis divisible by 5. So let's take out the common factor of 5. 5 times x minus 3. Now we have a binomial of x minus 3 on the top and on the bottom. And so the entire binomial will cancel each other out. Remember, it's not written here. It should be though that these aren't canceling out and disappearing, they're becoming 1. So now we have 5 times 1 divided by 1, and that just gives us the answer of 5. Again, we have a restriction on this that x cannot equal 3. So 3 minus 3 is 0, and we can't have a 0 in the denominator. So that's going to be our restriction. Our final answer is 5, and x cannot equal 3. All right? With our next practice question, we look at this binomial up top, 7a squared plus 5a, and we have a term on the bottom, 6a cubed. With those, 
there's no binomial that's common between them, but there is a variable. So let's go ahead and take out the variable of a from every term. 7a squared divided by a will give us 7a. 5a will just leave us with 5. And then a on the bottom, when we take an a out, we'll end up with 6a squared. Now we have these two terms, a and a, that we can cancel out. And we get 1 on each. It's not going to change the value, because 1 times that and 1 times that will just give us our final answer of 7a plus 5 over 6a squared. There is a restriction here, because we still don't want the denominator to be equal to 0. So what would we have? 6 times something would give us 0. Well, 6 times 0. So we know that a cannot equal 0 in this case. All right? For our final practice question, we're going to have to do some factoring again. We have a plus 2 times a minus 4. And that's all over 5a plus 10. We're going to factor our denominator by taking out the um, dividing each term by 5. We have 5 and a plus 2. And then we have a plus 2 and a minus 4 on top. We're looking for common binomials. And in this case, we have the binomial of a plus 2 on both the numerator and on the denominator. So we can cancel them out. Right, when, they, when they cancel out, you've got a 1 there. 1 times a minus 4 is not going to change the value. 1 times 5 is 5. So our final answer is going to be a minus 4 over 5. Now, there is a restriction with this one as well, that we can't have the, the denominator equal to 0. What would make this denominator equal to 0? Well. A negative 2. 5 times a negative 2 will give us a negative 10, plus 10 will give us 0. So a cannot equal negative 2. That's the only restriction on this one right now. So we have a minus 4 over 5, where a cannot equal negative 2. And that's the way we do this type of canceling out. So we've introduced a new idea of restrictions, and we've also just done canceling out or simplifying um, one step further when we do it with the variables and with binomials. So I hope that this has been helpful for you. Have a wonderful day doing whatever it is that you do.